In this video, I'm going to um, briefly talk about how one can simulate a queuing process and then uh, show you um, some code I've written that simulates a very simple queue and give a quick demonstration. I'll put a link to the actual program if you want to develop it and play around with it. Um, so this is an example of a queue, so a queue forms people waiting for an ice cream truck. Um, for a good explanation of uh, queuing processes and the impact that variability has within them, um, there's another video that uh, Professor Paul Harper, uh, the head of the OR group at Cardiff University and myself, uh, made. I'll be sure to link to that as well. Um, and so if we take that same queue, so an ice cream truck, what happens is a customer will arrive um, and when that customer arrives, what we'll get the computer to do is to create a customer. Okay, and then what, what we need to know is how long it's going to take that customer to have his ice cream uh, served. So we'll allocate it a service time and we get the computer to sample a random number, which will just be how long it takes for the, the ice cream to be served. And then after a certain amount of time, and again this will just be a random time, we'll just get the computer to um, to select a random amount of time, another customer will arrive. And so we get the computer to uh, to create another customer. And then we have to be careful here, we have to check whether or not the previous customer is still in service. Um, and uh, so we just check if the customer is left or not. And we couple that with another random sample um, of a service time to say how long it'll take for that second customer to have his ice cream served. And then we basically just get the computer to do this as many times as we want. So here's some code that does this. I won't go over all the details. It's written in Python, which is a lovely language. And uh, this part here is actually the simulation. Everything around it is just to make things look look nice. So what we have here is we um, are selecting a random number. Um, that's the arrival date, and then the service start date is the maximum of the arrival date of the particular customer and the service end date of um, the previous customer. And uh, that's more or less the entire simulation right there. Everything else that you see here is just calculating summary statistics. So I'll go ahead and run that really quick. So I start up Python. I uh, load that program. And then I simply um, call the, the, the function, which is QSIM. And I say I'll have one customer arrive every unit time, so for example, every hour. Um, it, uh, the, the ice cream truck can, can serve two customers an hour. And I want to run it for, um, for say, uh, 10 units of, of time. So we run that, it takes no time at all. We see all the summary statistics, so managed to do eight customers, that's about right, if we've got one arriving every unit time and uh, 10 units of time, and we've got the mean weight, the mean time in the system, and the utilization. I've written something so that I can write this to a CSV file, I don't want to write this one, but uh, I could write a slightly, uh, we could simulate this for a slightly more amount of time, so a thousand units of time. And there we see uh, the, the, sa the same results, and in fact, um, the utilization, the theory tells us the utilization for this simulation should be a half. So as we'd run more and more of these and run it for longer, it would converge to a half. Let's go ahead and write that to, uh, to CSV. And you see there, this CSV file just appeared. So if I just open that um, in Excel. If I open that in Excel, we see it there. So we have all the customers what time they arrived and what time uh, they got served, which just allows you to do the analysis. And that's more or less as simple as it gets to simulate a queue. Of course, here, much more complex queues can be considered. Um, we have multiple servers, priorities, and various other aspects.